Hello everyone, we will continue the topic ALV by Object Oriented Programming and in the previous videos we started how to modify a field catalog which is given by this particular SAP function module. If you have a SAP function module to generate the field catalog, there is no need to switch to manual if some changes are coming. You can simply simply modify the field catalog internal table based upon the requirement. And in the previous video, we have written the logic for the same. The same thing I covered in during the traditional ALV also. At that time, we have the function module reuse ALV field catalog much. Now, what I will do, I will put a breakpoint and we will understand each and everything in that debugging mode. So if some confusion is there, it will be clear whenever we will go in the debugging mode. I will run this program. I will give the input. I will go to desktop 3, most preferable desktop. Now this field catalog internal table has seven rows. So this loop will continue seven times. So firstly, first record from the internal table will go to work area whenever I will execute this line. As of now, you can see work area is completely blank. I'm doing F6. So whenever I did F6, so side tab X1, it means yes, the current index, whatever the record is going on, it is one. So first record from this internal table, this first record moved to work area. This is our work area. You can see we have the first record. Yes. So what is the field name? If you see, what is the field name? LS field, cat field name. What is field name? VBELN. So this if condition is true. So whenever this if condition is true, we are passing the document number to SCR text underscore L. Just see as of now work area. As of now work area has SCR text underscore L is sales document. Whenever I will pass the value, you can see in the work area, now we have document number. If I will show you this document number. Now we pass the long label to the work area. It is not in the internal table as of now. If I will show you internal table for this, if I will show you the long text, if I will go for 5200, you can see long text is still sales document because whatever the changes you passed, you passed to the work area. How it will go to internal table through modify statement. I am doing F6. Now, if I will show you internal table, now you can see in the internal table, we have the document number. Now, this if condition is failed because field name is VBELN. This if condition is failed. Now, loop will go for second iteration. And now, second record, this record from the internal table will go to work area. If I will show you 1 to 50. So, this record from the internal table will go to work area. So what is work area field name? What is work area field name? ER tag, ER tag. So this if condition failed. Now this if condition is true. Now if I will show you the column position as of now, it is two. Now we are changing it to three and we are passing it to work area. 
and you can see in the work area we have the position three but this changes is still in the work area it is not in the internal table if i will show you the internal table see still the column position is two whenever this modify statement will execute it will reflect the changes into the internal table now you can see for the er that column position change to three now we will go for next this if condition failed now loop will come for the third record you can see psi tab x3 so third record from the internal table will go to work area and you can see in the work area what is the field name e r z e t work area field name e r z e t this if condition failed this if condition failed this if condition is true now if you see the work area work area position is 3 as of now whenever this statement will execute work area column position will become 2 this is work area column position 2 but still in the internal table we have 3 only once this modify will execute it will change this 3 to 2 now you can see once modify executed you can see we have this particular 2 now loop will come for rest of the records so we have fourth record side tab x4 but all these if condition are failed because whatever we want to do we want to do for first three records yes now for the fifth record all three if condition failed for the sixth record yes all three condition failed now for the seventh record also all three condition failed we are not modifying anything and you can see whenever this loop finished all seven record processed if i will show you this internal table you can see column position changed for date and time if i will show you the label the label changed for this particular sales document number vbeln this is document number and this internal table we are passing to set table for first display method so whatever the changes we did we are passing and you can see we have the expected output if i will expand you can see what is the label document number and this time has the position 2 and created on has the position 3 so what is the summary of these particular videos in this videos we started with yes if you are not using manual method if you have already developed program and in which you have supposed sap function module for the field catalog and some changes are coming in terms of changing the positions changing the field labels suppose making hotspot making edit table making check boxes so it does not mean that you need to reflect you need to switch on to manual field catalog yes manual is preferable if someone asks you to go for new alv go for manual because if in the future some changes are coming it is very easy to accommodate those changes but if you have already developed program and they are using sap function module so you can modify the field catalog internal table you can put the logic and whatever you want to do you can modify the field catalog internal table rather than this modify we can use field symbols also you can learn from advanced ABAP topics but that is not our agenda as of now yes sir so do not use append statement this is the main thing because i saw so many people will use append append will insert records to the internal table we are modifying the internal table so we modified the internal table based upon the various conditions and we got the expected output so that's it in this particular video thank you